from body shape to type of teeth, or in his case, the lack thereof. Animals are equipped with special tools that serve all sorts of purposes. He's showing off some of his already. Did you notice any? Maybe we should take a closer look. Let's step into the spotlight. Fernando here is a tamandua, or a lesser anteater. And if we focus in, we might be able to find a few of his hidden talents. Did you see those claws? He actually walks on his knuckles to protect his claws from getting dull. Hmm, it looks like he has pretty tiny eyes, which probably means they don't see too well. But I see his nose is working over time. Hey, his nose is wet, just like a dog. That helps him to pick up extra chemicals and smells in the air. What are you smelling, Fernando? Oh, I see. You are smelling out a snack. Check out that tongue. It's sticky and barbed, and it can get up to 16 inches long. Hmm. What do you think an anteater eats? You probably guessed that he is an expert anteater, but today it almost looks like he's getting some kind of anteater oatmeal. His keepers built this replica of a termite mound to encourage his natural foraging behaviors, which seems to be working already. His claws are really digging into that hard outer crust. His head is shaped perfectly to fit inside. His mouth is only as big as a pencil, which doesn't leave much room for teeth, but that makes a perfect straw for sucking up termites. We love watching Fernando embrace and utilize all his quirky qualities. He is definitely a unique animal, but that is what makes this Tamandua perfectly adapted to his distinct lifestyle. Thanks for taking a moment to focus in just a little bit closer. Join us next time in the Spotlight.